narcissists suddenly disappear and then return to being criminals? Ever found yourself pondering their sudden pursuit, followed by a swift disappearance? It's a tale as old as time. Initially, they sought you out with a pristine image of you in their minds, believing you to be the epitome of their desires. Driven by their own agenda, they chased relentlessly, but not out of genuine affection. Their motives were self-serving, driven by personal desires rather than a mutual connection. Navigating through the whirlwind of emotions can be disorienting. Fear not, for we're here to lend a helping hand. Our personalized consultations, starting at a mere $1 per week, offer tailored guidance to navigate the complexities of challenging relationships. Take the first step towards stability and understanding by clicking the link below to begin your journey. In the realm of these individuals, long-term plans are as fleeting as the wind, shifting with each passing moment. They lack the resilience to weather even the slightest displeasure, their attention easily swayed by the allure of novelty. Rooted in baseless assumptions, their decisions teeter on shaky ground, devoid of logical reasoning. Consequently, their actions become a game of chance, akin to the roll of dice or the flip of a coin, guided solely by transient emotions rather than intellect or maturity. Amidst the turmoil, don't surrender to the chaos. Embrace the opportunity for personalized guidance through our one-on-one -on -one consultations, where we'll navigate the labyrinth of confusion together. With our support, you'll forge a path towards a harmonious and fulfilling relationship. Click the link below to embark on your journey to clarity and understanding. And now, narcissists. They don't learn from their mistakes. They can't back up what they do or decide with logical thinking. They do everything on the spot and expect you to go along with it. At first, they are interested in you because they admire and want what you have to offer. But they'll ghost you once they have everything they wanted from you. They were breadcrumbing other people while they were with you. People in this group didn't get much attention, only occasional texts or calls. Narcissists like to have choices, and they'll do the same thing to you after they ghost you. You'll be ready for them if they need you, or if things don't work out with someone else. They won't have to waste any time. It might look like things are going well with the narcissist. You're making plans and talking about the future, and they're presenting you to their family. But all of a sudden, they're gone because they're focused on something else. They're always looking for bigger and better things. They're always looking for the next big thing, and they feel like they're missing out, even if things were going well with you at first. They think there might be better chances somewhere else. They'll ghost you and leave without giving a reason because they need to get their next target quickly before someone else does. Maybe they found someone more interesting than you, not because they don't like you. Narcissists get bored quickly and need to be stimulated all the time. They can leave without a trace, even if you thought you were building something with them. They are always in other people's lives and need to know what other people have or are doing because they are afraid of losing out. You'll never know where you stand with them. They won't fully commit to you or anyone else. They'll always have one foot in and one foot out. This makes you feel confused. Still, it's easy for them to twist the truth and blame you, which they then use as an excuse to leave. All of a sudden, though, they've chosen to give you another chance. The person they left you for didn't turn out to be as great as they thought they would be. They either left because you were almost able to figure them out, or because they found someone else and never really committed to you. Please give this video a thumbs up if it helped you. Tell us what you think in the comments, and don't forget to click the subscribe button to get updates. We'd appreciate it if you could help the service. Glad you watched, and we'll talk to you soon. Hey there, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the intriguing realm of narcissistic manipulation, unveiling the subtle phrases they employ to exert control and sow discord. 
These phrases aren't merely words. They're cunning tools wielded to subjugate and dominate others. As we uncover these nine phrases, it's crucial to discern not just their surface meaning, but the insidious intent lurking beneath. Equipping yourself with this knowledge empowers you to resist manipulation and safeguard your independence. And remember, if you find this content enlightening, don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel for more thought-provoking discussions. Share this video with those who might benefit and share your own experiences or insights in the comments below. Phrase number one, evading accountability. When confronted about their actions or personal life, narcissists often resort to the phrase, my personal affairs are private. I don't tell you any explanations. While it may seem like a gesture of respecting boundaries, it's a clever ploy to shirk responsibility and maintain a facade of deception. By cloaking their personal life in secrecy, narcissists sidestep accountability and evade facing consequences for their actions. They portray inquiries into their personal affairs as intrusions, allowing them to deceive and manipulate without fear of repercussion. This duplicitous behavior erodes trust and undermines the authenticity of relationships. Furthermore, it's particularly hypocritical as narcissists frequently pry into others' lives while vehemently guarding their own. It reveals their belief that they are exempt from the standards of fairness and reciprocity. Phrase number two, externalizing anger. When confronted about their volatile temper, narcissists often deflect blame by asserting, you make me angry, it's your fault for provoking me. Rather than acknowledging their own emotional volatility, they shift blame onto others, absolving themselves of accountability and perpetuating a cycle of aggression. By attributing their anger to external triggers, narcissists avoid confronting their underlying issues and negative patterns of behavior. This cycle of blame allows them to remain entrenched in destructive behaviors without seeking personal growth or change. To navigate interactions with narcissists effectively, it's crucial to recognize that they are responsible for managing their own emotions. Refusing to accept blame for their outbursts enables you to establish boundaries and prioritize your own emotional well-being. Phrase number three, shunning critique. Narcissists recoil from criticism, often retorting, quit scrutinizing my every move. You're overly critical, as a tactic to deflect accountability and evade scrutiny. Instead of embracing constructive feedback, they resort to accusing others of being excessively judgmental, even when the criticism is warranted. Labeling others as judgmental serves as a shield for narcissists to avoid acknowledging their imperfections. Rather than owning up to their flaws, they deploy guilt-tripping tactics to divert attention away from their shortcomings. When confronted with their behavior, they manipulate the narrative by portraying themselves as victims of unjust scrutiny, thereby thwarting any meaningful dialogue and hindering personal growth. Phrase number four, weaponizing kindness. The phrase, I intended to be kind, but now you've forfeited that privilege, serves as a manipulative tool in relationships. Employed alongside actions that withhold kindness, it serves to assert dominance and diminish the worth of the other party. This manipulative tactic manifests as a struggle for power and control within the relationship dynamics. Whether directed towards family, romantic partners, or friends, this form of manipulation seeks to instill doubt and feelings of inadequacy in the recipient. The sudden withdrawal of support or affection leaves the recipient feeling uncertain and undeserving, perpetuating a cycle of emotional turmoil and dependency. By attaching conditions to kindness, the manipulator exerts control over the emotional landscape of the relationship, fostering a sense of perpetual insecurity and dependence in the recipient. Victims of this manipulation are left questioning their self-worth 
and grappling with feelings of anxiety and confusion, undermining their ability to trust and maintain healthy relationships. Phrase number five, reversing control accusations. Narcissists often retort with statements like, you're attempting to control me, when confronted with boundaries or expected respectful conduct. This tactic serves to invert the power dynamic, portraying the narcissist as the victim despite their attempts to manipulate the situation. By shifting blame onto the other party and alleging control, they craft a distorted narrative that perpetuates their dominance. When faced with established boundaries or clear expectations, they deflect by portraying themselves as victims of unwarranted imposition. This manipulation tactic undermines the foundation of a healthy relationship and impedes the victim's ability to assert themselves. Recognizing this manipulation is crucial for asserting one's right to boundaries despite the guilt-tripping tactics employed by the narcissist. Though victims may experience confusion and self-doubt, maintaining firm boundaries is paramount for safeguarding their well-being. Phrase number six, arbitrarily impose regulations. Narcissists often enforce arbitrary rules in relationships, stating, it's permissible when I do it, but not when you do, thereby establishing unfair guidelines. This behavior reflects their belief in their superiority, asserting their entitlement to act without restraint while dictating the actions of others. By imposing rules selectively, they foster an environment of inequality and diminish the other person's confidence. Living under such unjust standards erodes self-assurance and fosters a sense of inadequacy. This manipulative tactic perpetuates a cycle of subservience and control, leaving the victim feeling marginalized and disempowered. To counteract this manipulation, it's essential to identify these disparities and establish boundaries to shield oneself from unjust treatment. Phrase number seven, distorting reality. Narcissists employ gaslighting techniques, stating, that's not how I recall it, to sow seeds of doubt regarding your recollection and the actual events. They manipulate the truth and deny their actions to undermine your confidence and question your sanity. Through this revisionist approach, they portray themselves positively while casting doubt on your credibility, exerting control over your perceptions. By distorting the past, they absolve themselves of accountability and maintain their grip on power. Keeping meticulous records of events can serve as a safeguard against their deceit, enabling you to uphold the truth and resist their attempts to manipulate your reality. Phrase number eight, asserting opinions as truths. Narcissists assert dominance by treating their opinions as incontrovertible truths, declaring, my opinions are infallible and dissenting views are simply foolish. They perceive themselves as intellectually superior and dismissive of alternative perspectives, stifling meaningful dialogue and diminishing your intellectual autonomy. This haughty demeanor stifles authentic discourse, leaving you feeling intellectually inferior for daring to hold differing viewpoints. Asserting your independence and refusing to yield to their attempts to dictate your beliefs is vital for personal growth and emancipation from their narrow-mindedness. Phrase number nine, disregarding your concerns. Narcissists dismiss your apprehensions with statements like, I couldn't care less about you or anyone else's opinions, deflecting accountability for their actions. They project an air of self-assurance and independence while covertly seeking validation and admiration. Despite feigning indifference to external judgments, they crave affirmation from those within their inner circle, revealing their dependency on external validation. Their indifference to criticism is selectively applied, serving as a facade to shield them from accountability. Over time, their facade may crumble, leading to strained relationships as their inability to maintain the illusion of perfection becomes apparent. 
if confronted with a narcissist, remember the validity of your concerns and assert your right to express them, refusing to allow them to invalidate your emotions. By illuminating these manipulative tactics, we empower individuals to discern the warning signs of narcissistic abuse and shield themselves from its detrimental impact. Remember, you're not navigating this alone, and assistance is within reach. If you find yourself ensnared in a manipulative dynamic, seek out trusted confidence, whether they be friends, family members, or mental health professionals, who can provide invaluable guidance and support as you embark on your path to healing and restoration. Together, we can liberate ourselves from the cycle of manipulation and foster wholesome, enriching relationships founded on mutual esteem and compassion. If you found this discourse enlightening and enriching, consider making a contribution, even as little as one dollar, through our Ko-Fi page. Each contribution, irrespective of its magnitude, significantly contributes to the maintenance and enhancement of our content quality. As a token of our gratitude for those who choose to become members, your name will be prominently featured at the onset of our videos, symbolizing our deep appreciation for your generous patronage. Your support fuels our ongoing endeavor to deliver content that resonates with you and we extend our heartfelt appreciation for your indispensable role in our community. Discover the Ko-Fi link in the description below and become an esteemed member of our journey. Don't overlook the opportunity to engage further by liking, subscribing, commenting, and sharing this video with others who could derive benefit from its insights. Thank you for tuning in. Picture encountering someone who exudes charm on the surface but conceals a sinister agenda beneath. What if I revealed that you possess the ability to uncover their true intentions? Brace yourself for an exhilarating journey as we unveil the enigmatic truths you need to grasp, promising an adventure that will captivate you from start to finish. Today, we embark on an exploration of the unsettling realities lurking beneath our everyday interactions. It's time to unravel the intricate puzzle titled Beware, Five Indications You're Entangled with a Malevolent Individual. This isn't merely about experiencing a rough day or committing occasional blunders. Rather, it's about identifying individuals who thrive on malice, deceit, and manipulation. This discourse is tailored for those who have ever found themselves uneasy about someone's demeanor but struggled to pinpoint the underlying reasons. Join me as we delve into uncharted territories, expanding our knowledge and transforming our intuition into enlightenment. First, the veil of charm. Imagine encountering someone whose charisma and vitality could immediately captivate you. They exude attentiveness, engaging in meaningful conversation and displaying genuine interest in your thoughts. This initial encounter may leave you feeling esteemed and valued, as the individual appears amiable and extroverted. However, beneath this beguiling facade, there may lurk a darker reality. Often, the initial indicator of someone's malevolence is their adeptness at wearing a mask of charm. This signifies their mastery in manipulation and deceit. But how does charm serve as a guise? It operates as a strategic tool wielded by individuals with ulterior motives to achieve their ends. It acts as a veneer, luring unsuspecting individuals under the pretense of trust and camaraderie. In this context, attractiveness is not indicative of genuine affection, but rather a calculated ploy to ensnare, dominate, and eventually exploit others. Distinguishing between authentic charm and counterfeit confidence poses a challenge. Observing their consistency is crucial. Do they maintain their interest in you, or does it wane once their objectives are fulfilled? Pay attention to their treatment of others, particularly when they believe no one is observing. A truly benevolent individual maintains a consistent demeanor regardless of the audience. Conversely, 
The charm of a malevolent individual diminishes when they no longer seek to impress or when their objectives have been achieved. 2. Absence of empathy. Empathy, the ability to comprehend and share another person's emotions, forms the foundation of human connection and compassion. It allows us to resonate with someone else's joy or sorrow, fostering genuine care and understanding. Conversely, Individuals who lack empathy exhibit clear signs of malevolence. They view others not as sentient beings with emotions and rights, but as mere instruments to serve their own ends. Understanding Empathy Deficiency At its core, the absence of empathy entails an inability to recognize and honor the emotions of others. This deficiency manifests in various troubling behaviors, including indifference towards other suffering, a lack of remorse for causing harm, and an inability to genuinely celebrate others' accomplishments. Individuals devoid of empathy remain oblivious to or indifferent towards the emotions and desires of those around them. 3. Mastery of manipulation. Those inclined towards malevolence often wield the subtle and deceptive art of manipulation, it serves as a clandestine means to influence others' thoughts or actions through deception, coercion, or exploitation. Identifying manipulation is crucial, as it is a hallmark of individuals who foster toxic relationships. Description of manipulation. This form of abuse often masquerades as ordinary discourse, rendering it exceptionally insidious. It can manifest as emotional manipulation wherein guilt trips coerce individuals into compliance, gaslighting instills self-doubt, or feigned helplessness elicits sympathy and assistance. The manipulator consistently seeks to compel others to fulfill their desires, regardless of the consequences for the victim. 4. The urge for dominance. The hunger for control is a telltale sign of individuals arboring ill intentions. This insatiable need to dictate the lives of others often manifests in various forms, such as imposing directives on thoughts and actions, or dictating choices. Safeguarding your autonomy and well-being amidst such domineering personalities requires a keen awareness and discernment of their controlling tendencies. Deciphering control dynamics and relationships Control often stems from underlying fears or insecurities within individuals. Seeking to quell their own anxieties and uncertainties, they resort to controlling others as a coping mechanism. However, such behaviour is not only detrimental, but also perilous, diminishing the independence and self-esteem of the affected individuals. 5. The Fabrication of Falsehoods Pathological lying serves as a disconcerting hallmark of individuals with malicious motives. It transcends the occasional fib, constituting a habitual pattern of deceit aimed at deceiving, manipulating, and exerting control over others. To safeguard one's well-being and nurture healthy relationships, it is imperative to grasp the implications of this trait and its impact. Unraveling Pathological Deception Pathological liars harbour an intrinsic compulsion to fabricate falsehoods even in the absence of necessity. They adeptly craft intricate narratives, skillfully intertwining facts and emotions to advance their covert agendas. The plausibility of their falsehoods renders discerning truth from fiction a daunting task. Strategies to confront pathological deception Vigilance is paramount when dealing with pathological liars. Maintain a discerning perspective and corroborate information whenever feasible. Document conversations and interactions to identify inconsistencies. Seek counsel from trusted individuals to gain alternative insights and validate concerns. In cases of severe detriment to mental and physical well-being, termination of the relationship or seeking professional assistance may be necessary for self-preservation. Unveiling the meaning. 
Grasping the indicators of potential harm for individuals is not only crucial for personal well-being, but also for fostering healthy relationships. By acknowledging and addressing traits like empathy deficiency, adept manipulation, power hunger and pervasive deceit, we empower ourselves to safeguard our emotional and psychological welfare. Through self-awareness, boundary setting, seeking support and disseminating knowledge, we contribute to creating a safer and more empathetic world, thereby nurturing healthier connections with others. We extend our gratitude for your active engagement in this discourse, fostering a pathway toward a more secure and resilient future. Your involvement holds significance. If you gleaned insights on identifying and navigating ill intentions, we encourage you to effect positive change. Initiate conversations with your loved ones, friends and colleagues. Together, we can enhance comprehension and equip individuals with the tools to navigate complex relationships. We invite you to share your reflections, experiences or additional insights in the comments section.